Welcome to the Butterfly Effect. I'm Chris Horner. This is the Women's World Championships 2021 Road Race. It was an absolutely fantastic, super exciting race from all the way 100 kilometers all the way to the finish. Now it's 157 kilometers long, about 100 miles in length with 20 categorized climbs on today's course. But here's the thing that makes the racing so exciting. The women are starting with a large field here, over 160 riders. Multiple teams have eight riders. It is an absolutely stacked field when we're talking the duchies. All eight of them are fantastic riders. Four of them are world champions, national champions, and everything else. And one of the girls, Demi Valeran, she won Liège Best on Liège, and she's not even the cream of the crop. So we're talking about a stacked Dutch field. The Italians look fantastic. The Frenchies are looking great. The Americans look great. We got a fantastic race to look forward to on today's Women's World Pro Road Championships. Now, let's get into the racing because it was thick and the action was fast from 100 kilometers to go. Great Britain jumps on the front and they're the first to start setting tempo up there. And that's when we start seeing the field really start suffering at the back. Now with 80 kilometers to go, the Dutchies get on the front and they want to start blowing this race up and making it as hard as they can. They start making things exciting. They bring back the solo rider with about 70 kilometers to go, the New Zealand rider, Drummond. And once she comes back, that's when things start going bad for the Dutch. Now Demi Valerin's going up the climb with about 70 kilometers to go. Either she drops her chain or her cassette starts spinning in the back because she doesn't have any traction. She's not moving forward and she's got to get off her bike. This is the first problem. Now, we see her reach down. Looks like she's putting her chain back on. She jumps on her bike and rides, and then it's the very next climb that it happens a second time. Once this starts happening, you know you have to change bikes because now you know it wasn't just a drop chain or something like that. It has to be a mechanical issue, so the bike has to be replaced. Problem is, the field is blowing up because the Dutch girls are on the front driving as hard as they can, and there's no cars back there. Demi Valerin will start running all the way to the summit of the climb. She'll get back on her bike right at about a kilometer and then start waving for the car behind to come up so that she can change bikes. She pulls over the right side of the road. Then they start, then they start trying to change bikes. Problem is her bike is in the center on the top roof of the rack because probably because she's not world champion, right? She's only a Liège, best on Liège, one of the greatest classic one-day races in the world winner, but you gotta be a world champion winner, national champions, and all kinds of wins to have your bike on the outside of the Dutch team. Now, I'm not complaining about that, I'm just pointing it out. So they're having some problems, the mechanics fighting to get her bike out from the middle of the car on the roof. He'll get it out, and guess what? It doesn't even have a front wheel, guys. They gotta take the front wheel off her race bike and install it on her spare bike. Demi Valerin back there is losing it, but absolutely keeping it internal. We can tell she's losing it, but she's not yelling at the mechanic because she knows that's just going to make things worse. The mechanic, believe it or not, he probably did the fastest wheel change and bike exit off the roof of the car that you could possibly do. But Demi Valerin is still going to be suffering to get back on because up front, it's all her Dutch teammates that are driving it as hard as they can. Now, Demi Valerin will jump on her bike, so she'll start chasing, and when she reaches the next climb, the third climb, she gets caught behind the crash, and then she's off the back again. She'll spend 15 kilometers chasing from her first mechanical with her bike all the way until she finally gets back up to the front group. When she does get back up to the front group, what does she do? She's a legend, guys. She rides right to the front and starts working again for the Team Netherlands. It's absolutely amazing the effort she would have put in during those 15 kilometers and gets right back to the front and starts doing work. After Demi Vollering gets back to the front, we start seeing the Dutch team just throwing in attacks all over the place. And it's about with 45 kilometers to go that we see Anna van der Breggen coming out the back, the legendary world champion. Winner of Flesh Roland more times than anyone has in the history books. She's getting dropped. This is going to be her last big hurrah. She's retiring at the end of the year. I saw her throughout today's race getting bottles right in the front, driving attacks, bringing attacks back. She was absolutely fabulous. And now she's coming out the back. It's the second hit for the Team Netherlands that they're going to have to take after you start adding up the efforts that Demi Valerens put in her legs. And now it's none other than... Anna van der Breggen going out the back. Up front, though, it's Ellen van Dyke, this year's 
time trial gold winner that's attacking on the sidewalk. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. The group's okay size. They're probably 50, 70 in group, group left of riders up front. But there's no reason in my mind for Ellen Van Dyke to be attacking going up the sidewalk. We all know it's not really permitted. We all know you have to be on the sidewalk sometimes to avoid crashes, to try to move up in the group is one thing, but to actually be attacking the group, that's just a no-no, Ellen Van Dyke. Nobody likes to see that. But she goes up the road, starts putting more pressure on all the other nation teams back there, the Chase, the Dutchies up front. With 25 kilometers to go, it's Garcia, the Spanish rider that's going up the road, and she is putting in probably the best solo attack throughout this race so far with 25 kilometers to go in the race. Behind, it's Annemiek Van Vluten who's actually doing most of the work to try to bring her back on the front. She's trying to attack to go across. When that doesn't work, she's back on the front again, driving the front group because everybody knows Garcia is a strong rider up front. She gets about a 30 second gap when they're coming down the descent with about 20 kilometers to go. It's Nui Adomo that's going down the descent and she clearly did not watch the video that I just posted last week on how to pedal through the corners properly because she does exactly what I told all you viewers not to do. She shifts it into the super small chain ring because she knows there's a climb coming up at the bottom of the turn. So she wants to go into the turn with a super easy gear. The problem is, just like I told you guys on the how to corner your bike properly pedaling, she goes easy gears when she goes into that turn. She forgot that she went to a high RPM gear. She flips the pedal around quickly and that bike goes sideways to the left. She does an amazing job to pull it out and then on top of that, keep attacking going up the road. Nui Adami's absolutely looking fantastic here at the final last 20 kilometers. Up the road is Garcia whose gap is always hovering around 10, 15 seconds in front until finally it's the Dutchies that pull her back with 10 kilometers to go. Now the group is all together and we're coming into the penultimate climb when it's New Adami again who throws in the first attack. She'll split the group and go over the top with only five riders. Voss made the front group. Ellen Van Dyke made the front group. The Italians are covered with Longo Bergini up there. It's a fabulous move but everybody's chasing from behind to try to bring these four five girls back. They'll bring them back shortly over the top and now we're going to the last climb of the day with under two kilometers to go. Again, it's Nui Adami that's throwing in the attack, trying to blow the race up. She just doesn't have enough, but she's making the race absolutely exciting. One of the best races I've seen throughout this 2021 season. Absolutely fantastic. Under with just under one kilometers to go. It's the Italian teams on the front and they got everything under control. They got four Italian riders leading out their sprinter, Elisa Balsamo. Now they're doing a fabulous job. Lisa Bozama will slot back just a little bit and let Ellen Van Dyke slot in front of her. Now there's three Italian riders on the front. Ellen Van Dyke followed by their sprinter. Behind Bosamo is Nui Adami. Behind her is Mariana Voss. With 500 meters to go is Longo Borghini, the Italian champion who's on the front. She starts a hard acceleration that just now blows what's left of the field into pieces. She'll accelerate. Bassamo behind will jump around Ellen Van Dyke, who now is blowing. Mariana Voss has to jump and close the gap up to Bassamo because Nui Adami is now paying for the efforts on her last two attacks up the final two climbs of today's fantastic World Championship Women's Road Race. Going to the line now, we'll see with about 300 meters to go, Longo Borghini will look over her shoulder at her sprinter. Her sprinter will shake her head no. That's telling her she's got to go a little bit further because it's a little too soon still at 300 meters for the sprinter to start her sprint. Longo Borghini will dig deep, go all the way to about 150, 125 meters to go when Bassamo will start her acceleration, jump off the wheel of Borghini and start driving all the way to the line. Mariana Voss does a fantastic job to start pulling up next to her with 75 meters to go. Then she starts creeping backwards. Bassamo, the Italian sprinter, will take today's world championship victory in amazing fashion 
and what a beautiful race it was. Guys, you got to go back and watch the last 100K. There was a thousand attacks. It was absolutely brilliant racing. When I first turned it on, it was going a good pace, 40, 45K an hour all the way, but there wasn't much attack, no big attacks happening. So I was busy. I was making breakfast. I was shaving. I was getting ready for the butterfly effect. And then with 100 kilometers to go, I was glued to the couch all the way to the finish to watch Elisa Bosamo take today's victory. Mariana Voss, fantastic second. And Nui Dami, who was absolutely brilliant the last 20 kilometers of this world championship race. She'll get the podium for bronze on today's race. Fantastic. Congratulations. I was entertained throughout today's whole race. Fantastic. Guys, go back again. Watch the last 100K. It is well worth three hours of your time. Amazing race. All the ladies, fantastic job. I'm already looking forward to watching the next big women's race. Make sure you guys like and subscribe because tomorrow is the Men's Pro World Road Championships, 268 kilometers long, and we're going to have an epic battle. If tomorrow's race could be anything as good as today's women's race, you know we're going to be entertained throughout the whole race. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you real soon.